Well hi there, I'm Wells Starbursts, and welcome to my furniture design series. In videos such as these, I'll be showing you cool pieces of furniture that I find while roaming around the voxel box. Today's contribution is provided by Ryan M16, and consists of four different chair designs. We're also going to be learning about a mechanic in Minecraft called No Physics, and how we can utilize it in our builds. All four of the chairs require the use of No Physics to create. Either the Voxel Sniper plugin or the Paintbrush plugin work. Both of these tools have the option to change a block without updating the block's state. This enables you to have combinations of blocks that would not regularly stay together in Minecraft. Of course, when you do update these blocks with something like Redstone Power or placing another block next to it, they will revert back to their stable state, which unfortunately is a state of disrepair. The key step in creating each of these chairs is the block change. Watch as I create this chair made of a pressure plate and some signs. Now watch as I replace the center block with a pressure plate. Again, the key part is the change from a regular block to a pressure plate. This is very easy to do with a paintbrush. Simply left click on a pressure plate to add it to your brush and right click on a block to paste it down. Watch as I change this block surrounded by trap doors to create our next chair with the use of Voxel Sniper. In Voxel Sniper, No Physics has its own performer, MP. So we're going to change our voxel type to a half block and type in the command for the snipe brush with the appropriate performer. And then you can simply right click on the placeholder block. You can do the same with our smaller chair made of a stair block. Our final chair utilizes the third data value of a snow tile, which covers 3 eighths of a block rather than an entire half. To obtain this different data value, you can place a snow tile on the ground and change it with either Voxel Sniper and an Ink Performer, or with the use of the Data Scroll Wrench. With Voxel Sniper, you can set your ink value to 3 and simply click once on the snow tile with an Ink Performer. With the Data Scroll Wrench included in the Tool Bucket plugin, it's as simple as clicking the snow tile 3 times and then pasting it regularly with a paintbrush. By the way, if you had no idea what I'm talking about with all the Voxel Sniper stuff, you may want to check out my series of tutorials on it, starting with the basics. The link is on the screen.